I've been a mechanical guy all my life. Uh, I grew up working on cars with my dad. I actually saw the car at a open house for the College of Engineering before I had kind of decided on Northeastern. You actually get to drive something that you worked on and you created with your own hands. The premise of the competition is to design a new single person off-road vehicle for the mass market. You're judged on your design, the cost, the way it looks, the way it handles, everything. We handle every part of the process by ourselves from project management, making sure that we get registered for competitions on time. All of the nuts and bolts for the entire organization are self-driven and run by the students. So you kind of get to take your knowledge and your classroom experience full circle. So you, you see the equations and the calculations you in class and apply that to a real world problem. During build season, we've been known to be down here until midnight, two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. So we design the car from the ground up first on the computer and we take what we design there, bring it into the machine shop and fabricate everything by ourselves. We design the suspension, the transmission, everything from the ground up is custom. The whole premise of the competition is to design the lightest and strongest car within the rules to meet all the safety requirements. The driving factors behind our designs are typically keeping the car as robust as possible. It really takes the engineering concepts you learn in class to incorporate it into designing a car that's light, robust, fast, and agile. When you've been to as many races as we have and you realize how rigorous these courses can be and just utterly destructive on cars, uh, you really aim towards designs that you know aren't going to fail. I think it's huge to be able to see something come from nothing to a uh, you know full production prototype like this car here. The fact that I can see something that I made, you know, actually work, is just thrilling to me. There's a lot of teams that focus on making a car lighter. We generally just overbuild it so we can finish because a lot of cars will break with the hundred some odd cars on the track at one time. There's no saying what's going to happen. You take it to competition with the hope that it doesn't break and confidence in your equipment. And then to see it out there on the track, hitting massive jumps and doing things that other people's cars don't do, it's, it's a real thrill. That's always been a uh, key characteristic, I think, of our cars that makes them successful is being able to go through a four-hour endurance race and have it not break down, uh, where your car actually drives under its own power across the finish line at the end of the day is really a satisfying feeling. It's really a close-knit team. Some teams in the larger schools have you know, upwards of 30 people on a team, we average about eight. And even once people graduate, we have an alumni association of team members that have graduated, and they still love the competition so much, they're still around, they give us advice. The transfer of knowledge is huge, you know, you, you, you learn a lot, and every team would be starting fresh if it weren't for alumni. So we actually have 10 or 15 alumni that all talk, and we come out and we'll help these guys testing, and if they have technical questions, we'll help. I mean, it's a true application of, of your education. From my experience with this team, and hearing from the alumni's experience, I know this program is definitely a huge part of your college career. It's definitely been a big factor in uh, understanding this is definitely what I want to do for the rest of my life. I love designing motorsports kind of vehicles. I'm looking at possibly getting into the NASCAR field. It gets people hooked. I didn't know going into it that maybe it would be something I would do for my whole five years here, but uh, honestly, as soon as you start wrenching on the car and you start making parts, it's just pretty infectious. And I think as soon as they get their hands dirty, they really just fall in love with it.